uh, hi we are going to see how to install Honar on uh, QNAP using the container station this is a very easy process but uh, since a lot of you have asked we thought we'll cover it uh, log into your uh, QNAP and click on container station on the left you can see the menu to create a new container click on create and search for the image of Honar. When you search for it, it automatically finds the image on Docker Hub. Since I've already downloaded the image earlier, it uh, the button says create for you. It will mostly say install. Uh, you can see that this has a lot of reviews, um, and this is from LinuxServer.io, so this seems like a good image to use. Uh, click on create. And it asks you for a few options like what version you want to install, which would mostly be the latest version. Click on next. Uh, there might be a disclaimer coming in. Uh, it didn't come for me probably because I had already installed it earlier and doing it again for the tutorial purpose. Uh, all right, now the name of the container. Uh, you don't have to worry about command, don't have to worry about init. Auto start is in case uh, your QNAP shuts down and restarts, then do you want it to restart or not? The CPU limit, you can leave it as it is because it's never going to reach 100%. It's a very lightweight container. The memory limit, you can leave it again uh, to the uh, uh, default or you can uh, reduce it. Uh, but it doesn't matter because it's never going to reach 6 GB of um, uh, memory usage. And click on advanced settings. You don't have to worry about the environment. Probably for you, the environment will be, um, uh, will be empty here. Uh, network. Uh, make sure that the network mode is always net uh, just to tell you a little bit of what's happening here is um, there will be a port that will be required uh, to access the application and that port will have to be mapped to the host so within that container the port 8989 is going to be used but you cannot use port 8989 directly so the container station is going to um, assign a port on the host and if you try to access that port on host it will take you to the container port if you don't understand it it's perfectly okay because you will be able to use it without even understanding this you don't have to do anything under device shared folder here is where you will have to map your folder so your container runs in an isolated mode right on your QNAP you have got a few shared folders probably one of those shared folders has movies um, you need to give access to that folder to your container that's otherwise running in an isolated mode so that's what we'll do we'll map a volume from host now host is basically your your qnap so all the folders from host will have to be mapped to the container right so click on add it shows you all the folders on your host okay so i have my movies in movies i can see all the this movies folder should be accessible within my container station at a path a movies right so now my container station if i go to my container station and i change the directory to movies i get access to the movies on the host and you want read and write access and say create that's all there is to it okay and when you look at the overview in a few seconds, you will see that your uh, you have got three or four containers running, and my CPU uses is only 64%, and this is not uh, maybe five or six percent is attributed to this CPU. 19% is Honar, 1% of RAM only is used, right? Okay, so when I click on this, uh, this is the uh, container that's running now. I've got the um, actions like stop, etc., here, which I will probably never need to use click on this and here in the url you will see a port right now again going back to the netting this is what is happening 192.168.1.100 that's the ip address of my qnap um, if i go to this address um, at port 32770 that port is automatically forwarded to port 8989 inside the container so when i click on this it uh, takes me to Honar, right now I will be able to 
add the new series or I'll be able to import the library to import the library this is where we remember we had uh, app bin config default all these are folders um, which are which, which don't exist on your QNAP these are the folders which exist within the container but there's one folder that we had mounted from QNAP right this is the movie folder I have all the movies here I can say okay and it will find all the movies and I could say import right I don't want to go there I'll just cancel processing for now all right so that's how you will add your series after that you need to go to the settings and you will of course have to have your indexers um, I'm not going to cover how to add the indexers but uh, you might have a paid or a free indexer that you need to add here and the download clients so in the download clients um, in torrents the easiest client to add is the transmission we had shown you earlier in one of the um, tutorials how to add transmission to QNAP as well we'll be able to add transmission um, just give it a name uh, 